All right, so welcome everyone. This is a really quick short to show you um, how I basically made the ESC holder for this Mad Components 120 amp AMPX and how good it fits. I just wanted to show you and then I'll show you how it worked on the drone. I did have to run, start running some of the wires through because they're a thousand millimeters long on these power leads and that's not exaggerating either. But I just kind of wanted to show you that that fit. So once we get that thing lined up in there, now watch this part. Here we go. Oh, thing of beauty. And we got all the room in the world back here to store the wires after they're connected. And then we'll put a nice little soft TPU block in there to just hold them back in there because I want to be able to pull those wires back out switch wires around for reversing the servos things of that nature and then this connects directly to the body and i'll show you how that works right now so one moment okay here's the motor here's the esc got it all glued up ready to go and we're going to just set it right against there just like that just where it sits against the body like so all right, so that's how it's going to go on there in the airflow of the engine. And that's going to blow that air right past that ESC. That's perfect. So that's ESC2. And we've got the wires tucked here. This is what I was talking about, that little TPU block to kind of uh, just hold the wiring in there so I can pull it out and swap things around so on and so forth. And that's going to make it for engine number two. Engine number one was done yesterday. And we're just about ready. Got to get the power leads set up. Get that third battery in for the ATNS system. And then spin both of these guys up. And see what happens to my garage <laughs> when I do. So stay tuned.